Hey fellow minions of technology, my name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. And today we're going to be continuing our video talking about the Stream Deck and how you can set it up to do some of the stuff I've been teaching you guys about doing quick video content. How can we make our content quickly? And I mean as quickly as humanly possible. If you just have a topic you want to talk about and you want to make it quick and simple and concise, how do we do that fast so you don't even have to do much production to it to get it on YouTube and start maybe making some dollars behind it. Who knows? Um, and this is one of the important key pieces of gear that I use to make that happen. It's called a Stream Deck, and I can show it to you right here. And basically, it's a switcher. It switches between different scenes. Uh, as you can see right now, this is the scene we're on right here. If I press this button, it switches to another scene. If I want to do an intro, I can just press this button and the intro comes up. All of these scenes are all controlled by this through the Streamlab OBS. So now this is our update for 2019. Uh, there's been a ton of stuff that Stream Deck has been putting into their device. Uh, if you are interested in, in this device in any way, shape, and form, and you're thinking about buying about it, the link is in the description below. Please consider buy. Wow, the tongue lifting. Wow. <laughs> Please consider buying this through our links down below. Uh, if you buy through our link, it doesn't. it's not any extra cost to you, and they give me a little cut for sending you that way. Uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate, and anyone who buys through my links, I greatly appreciate that you do that. All right, let's talk a little bit more about this. Today, we want to set up a record and a stream function. Uh, these buttons are super easy to do. This is a very quick video, but uh, it's, it's the neat little functions that you might not know about, and if you watch a video like this and you become inspired, uh, these are neat little features that you definitely want to have. Now let me show you something here. I'm going to come up to my settings here and one of the settings that I want to show you guys is right here under my hotkeys. Let me load that up and actually let's go ahead and switch over to my screen itself here so that you can see this function. Oh, wrong screen. Let's try this one here. Okay. So you can see here that I have these functions programmed in here under start recording and stop recording and I have it programmed as R. In my previous video I typed in something and I had to use the letter R. It literally stopped and started my recording because I hit the letter R. So yes, you can set up hotkeys to do all the same stuff that we're doing here, <laughs> but there, that was a hiccup, there is a very major flaw for doing that. God forbid you have to type something or do something in the middle of your stream or in the middle of your recording and you accidentally hit the recording button that you've set up on your, uh, your keyboard. And that's it, folks. That's all she wrote. So let me show you a little something that we can do here. Switching back into the screen. Let's go ahead and get rid of this function 100%, okay? We just hit the little uh, minus button here, and that gets rid of that. We'll hit done. Now we won't have any more issues there. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to set up a record button and a stream button. They're super easy to set up. First off, you want to find what program you're using. Are you using Streamlab OBS? Are you using OBS Studio? Or are you using uh, the even more expensive XSplit, which is like 200 bucks or whatever? So let's just go down to mine. I'm using Streamlabs OBS. It is free. Go and get it. It's an excellent program. And right here, there are two functions that you can stick in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two functions in. First one is the record button. Uh, and as if you look now on my stream deck here, you can see that there is a flashing button here. When it is flashing, it means that we are recording. And I'm also going to go right below here. Here's a stream button. I'm going to put it right next to it and you can see it pops up in real time. That, if you have your Streamlab settings all set up, as long as your Streamlab is open, you press that button and you're live on Twitch or you're live on whatever streaming service you have set up. And it's excellent. Now you can of course name these as you we've mentioned in our previous video. The link to that previous video is going to be right up here in the cards. Make sure you go and check that out. And if I forgot to put it in the cards, leave a comment down below. Let me know I forgot. And uh, yeah, th this is an amazing little quick and easy thing to set up. Make sure you consider doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this a bit further. Let's also talk about how to mute and unmute microphones in this exact same function. If I scroll down here on my Streamlab OBS, we can see that my AKG Perception 
220, which is this microphone right here uh, in front of me, this guy right here. Uh, if I want to mute this for any reason, if my wife walks in and wants to talk with me and I need to mute something, um, I will forget to, to do this often. And if there's just a button on the stream deck to do that, it's a lot easier to set up. Shall we set one up? Let's do it. Um, let's go here to the Streamlabs OBS and right here there's something called Mixer Audio. We can drag that in wherever we want. We'll put it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and call this uh, AKG uh, Perception since that's the um, that's the name of my microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this as well and paste it here. Uh, something kind of funny right now, the letter R is in this, so if I had that function turned on for the recording, my recording would have just stopped. So yeah, that's why you don't want to have a key keyboard shortcut set up, because if you have to type in the middle of your recording, that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, finish on this here. The collection set up here is Clearview Nerd or Die. You're not going to have this on yours. This is the template that I have on mine uh, with Streamlabs OBS. You can download themes, which is really, really cool. Uh, and this uh, theme that I use when I'm uh, doing streaming uh, and playing video games is called uh, Clearview Nerd or Die. You'll make yourself your first uh, uh, collection when you open up Streamlab for the first time. You might not even know that you created a collection, uh, and uh, you will simply find whatever that collection is here, and then underneath it, you'll find what you want to change. Now, these are sources inside this collection, so uh, I want to find a certain source, and this one's going to be the AKG Perception 220 right here. I'll go ahead and click it, and now I can just hit this button right here, I'm not going to be stupid and claim that you can obviously not hear me. So yes, simply at a press of a button, we can do that. Now, it's not just for that function. Uh, there are so many different options that we can do with this. Uh, let's see. I have something here called Nexus Music. And Nexus Music is a fun little track that I did have set up, but it doesn't seem to be working now. Let me go and see what's going on with this here. Hang on a sec. Uh, I can just go ahead and jump in here. We're going to select this and see if we can make it play for us. Now, this is basically a track that should technically be playing in the background of this file right now, which it doesn't seem to be doing. Ah, it says it's muted. Let's unmute it. There we go. So now you can be able to hear that music, hopefully, in the background. Now, maybe you like that music and maybe you don't. Why don't we just set up a function to record or uh, or minimize that or hide it? So I'll go ahead and turn it up a little bit. I actually hear it in the speakers, so if we have feedback loop, I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and set this up. We'll go to the mixer audio. We'll drop this in here. We're going to call this one Nexus, uh, which is some really great music that I pulled from YouTube for free. YouTube has some really great libraries for music when you need it. So Nexus Music. And this is the one I use for all of my videos that I make. We're, once again, the collection is clear view or die, uh, nerd or die. Uh, the source I need to look for is the Nexus music. There we go. And with that set, now I can mute it and unmute it, whatever I want. It's a really great function and it's super easy to set up. And you can set up whatever you want so that you can have these mu this music going on in the background or you can mute microphones or you can do whatever you want to this. It's a really, really neat feature. Uh, and that's just the simple basics of setting up the Stream Deck. We have a lot more to talk about this and I hope that you're enjoying it. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. I got a really neat function button right here that will jump back here to the screen. And then if I hit the button here, we get this great little exit thing here. Now, uh, real quick, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you haven't done that yet. Leave a comment down below that I can read on some of my future videos. And of course, ha, ah, make sure you hit that bell button so you get notifications next time we release a video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this taught you something cool. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye. Guess I should mute that music. And we're done.